Good morning guys and welcome to another vlog. If you're new here, hello, I'm Natalia and I don't like to get dressed usually and you will most likely find me in onesies, mostly in the winter obviously, but yeah, do not be alarmed. Anyway, today is Monday and I'm gonna start all the production from my launch that I had on Thursday. I decided to take the weekend off just to like actually get accustomed to taking weekends off and taking time off because I always feel this need to continuously work, but a normal person would take a little bit of a break, you know, on a weekend. Weekend, and I don't tend to do that so I decided to do that and I'm starting my production today So yeah, I'm gonna take you guys along with me for the next couple of days as I kind of make everything because I know you guys like to see the behind the scenes of that and yeah, that's what we're gonna do today. So let's let's get to it Update. I just got all of the red tops cut out and I have them all surged so they're all right here and I actually have less fabric than I thought I did so I only have enough for four more after this so that's gonna be the last of that restock I think the other items I'm gonna have enough for maybe two more restocks but for this one that's gonna be it so that's all ready I'm gonna start to hem them and do the smocking here in a little bit but I took a little break to answer some emails and post on Instagram and just be a little active and all that so I'll get started on that and hopefully we can get a good amount of it done by today if not tomorrow that's kind of the goal the smocking obviously takes a very long time so it's harder to get all these done super fast but i don't have that many i only have six so not too bad later it's 2 30 now and as you just saw i was finishing up editing a video for tomorrow because i upload on tuesdays and today's monday so obviously tomorrow's my upload day and i had to finish that video up i had it done pretty much yesterday i just needed to go over it one more time and make sure everything was like good and set to go and delete a few things and you know try to shorten it because it's always super long but yeah that is done that is exporting and now i'm just gonna go ahead and start smocking all of these tops because that's what takes the longest usually now that i have that out of the way i can just like focus on that. So that's what we're going to do. later it's like 5 p.m at this point and i feel like i haven't vlogged too much today but it's just been a lot of sewing so i feel like it's a lot of just time lapsing right now um but i'll show you where i'm at with everything so all of these have been hemmed like all of the tops have and obviously i've smocked two of these already so that's kind of where i'm at with it i still have all these to smock and then obviously do all the sleeves for but they're all like hemmed and whatnot too so that's where we're at i feel like i've been going a little slower than usual today but i've also kind of stopped to do like emails and to upload my youtube video do my thumbnail all that type of stuff i'm also kind of like doing in between so i just got my video uploaded and ready to go for tomorrow and yeah that's kind of where i've been at i'm probably gonna keep sewing for the rest of the night and that's pretty much it and then keep going tomorrow and the rest of the week <laughs> now 
10 p.m. and I finally finished smocking all the tops. I will show you guys. So here are all the tops ready to be put together tomorrow morning. I am so tired of smocking these tops today, but I wanted to get them all done so that tomorrow morning I could just start fresh with like the next set of things to do. So hopefully I get to finish these tomorrow. If not all of them, maybe, maybe like at least half, but I think I could maybe try to get through all of them tomorrow. So hopefully we get them done. But yeah, that was a lot today. I am really tired. I've been literally sitting here just sewing the entire day. As you can tell, I've been in the same place looking the exact same the entire day. So love that for us. But I'm going to go ahead and go to sleep and I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning guys, it is the next day and I am so incredibly tired. I'm getting a later start than usual. It's like almost nine at this point, but I just could not get myself out of bed today. That was rough. But anyway, we did it. We are out. Uh, I had coffee and now I am ready to get working. I really want to finish these red tops today. I don't know if I'll get to all of them or not, but hopefully at least halfway through is the goal so I can start shipping these out. And yeah, that's kind of pretty much it. If by some miracle I were to get them all done today and still have time, Time to do something else then I will get started on whatever I feel like getting started on next which might be the white sweaters I'm not sure though but we'll see but yeah that is the plan for today we're just gonna keep sewing and sewing and sewing some more <laughs> It is now like almost 12 and I've gotten through three of these. So three of them are ready to go. So I got halfway through already, which is shocking. I forgot how fast I get these done once the smocking's over with. That's always the longest part of it. But yeah, I'm getting through these really fast. So I'll definitely have these done by today. And then I think we're gonna start on the white sweaters afterwards. But since it's almost 12 and almost lunch and all that stuff, I don't wanna start on another one just yet. So I'm gonna just kind of be on my Instagram. I need to post, I need to figure out what I'm posting and then post that and then just kind of be active for a little bit and then I'll have lunch with my mom and then we'll get back to work but I posted my video this morning my um I guess my launch day video the one right before this one and it's doing really well you guys are being so nice to me in the comments I'm answering back to a lot of these as I like in between breaks of me sewing which is really nice so if you're ever early to my videos I usually do answer back to most comments so just a fun fact I guess but yeah I'm gonna answer some emails do some social media stuff and then we'll get back to work after lunch Hello, it's a little bit later. I had lunch and all of that and I wanted to show you guys a little package that came in. I'm super excited. I got these postcards made for my shop because I used to write note cards for everybody, like just like a little thank you note to everyone. And though I love doing that and I'm probably still gonna write a little something on every single one. I'm not just gonna like not write anything, but it takes up a lot of time and I just needed to kind of have a more professional postcard written that I could just kind of sign and say a little like smaller something thing in instead of like a huge paragraph because as much as I love doing that it just takes up so much time and I'm sure you guys understand that but I got these made and I'm super excited because I wanted to have something that was useful in a sense I don't want it to just be one of those postcards you end up throwing out it's just like oh this is cute you take a picture for it and like throw it out obviously I got it done with eco and clothes which is the same company I use for all my shipping materials so it is all eco-friendly even the printing technique that they use is eco-friendly and everything so I know it's the sustainable in that sense, but I don't want it to be something that you just throw out. So I tried to make it something that you could easily put on like an inspo board if you wanted to, or just kind of like put up on your mirror or anywhere as like a cute little display something. So that's kind of the vibe with them. This is what they look like. It just says you are made out of love, for love, to love, and to be loved. I don't know when I came up with this, but years ago, I just kind of like made this up and kind of wrote it down and I was like, oh, like I like that. And it became my senior quote at my youth group. There's a big wall of senior quotes where everybody just writes like a quote, their name and the year they graduated. And this is what I wrote, but I really like it. It's a really good reminder that you are very loved. And I think it's really cute. And I really love the aesthetic of these as well. I designed them and I really, really like how they turned out. And on the back, it just says, thank you for your order. And then it has a little paragraph saying like, you know, thank you, like this order has been handcrafted, whatever. And then I have all my links at the bottom as well, which is what I wanted to have 
have on the other note cards, which is like, I feel like what was missing is having all of my social media links and whatnot and being like, hey, write us a review or whatever. So, so that's that. I got a huge stack of them. I'm super excited because now when I send these out, I'll be able to put those in there because I ran out of my business cards and I didn't want to purchase any more because I just felt like the postcards were going to be enough and I wasn't going to need to have a business card and a postcard on the same thing. So I'm just going to use these instead. So perfect timing on that. And yeah, we're just going to get back to sewing and finish these other three up and then package them up and I'll probably send them out tomorrow. now and I just finished all of these they're all done and ready to go I took a little bit longer because I started doing the true or false trend on my Instagram so I've been kind of like going back and forth between answering those and sewing just because I was getting tired of sewing and needed something to do in between then so there's that but I finally got all those done so I'll package them up in a little bit but I'm gonna take a bit of a break I'm very tired it got really gloomy out today too and that just like killed my vibe it was super sunny for a hot minute there and then it just got really gloomy and it feels like it's super late and it's not but yeah that is it I'm not sure if I'll actually start on the next thing later tonight or not we will see but I might actually start cutting something out I think I'm gonna start with the sweaters next so I might just cut those out tomorrow and then get started on those but we will see I will catch you guys in a little bit Okay, I'm back only a few minutes later because I am answering to more of the assumptions that you guys sent in. And if you guys don't follow me on Instagram and haven't already seen these because by the time this goes up, you guys would have already seen all of them. Um, you guys are so funny and so accurate with your assumptions of me. I just love to see it. Obviously that means that I clearly portray myself well on the internet if you guys are like saying all these things accurately of me. But I just think it's so funny. First of all, the first one that came up, I got multiple of these said that I am single and um yes yes I am I clearly give off that energy apparently but I think it's super funny but a lot of you guys are saying really nice things like you care more about your art and passions than being super famous and like that's such a specific assumption but it's so true and I'm so glad that obviously I come off that way to you because the last thing I'd want to do is like come off as wanting to be some big celebrity or anything so like it makes me happy to know that you guys see that in me and you see that I'm really trying to be like genuine and authentic with just everything I do but I also got people being like you're obviously introverted you're really awkward and whatnot and it's just very true and I think it's really funny there's been three that have been really really off one of them being you have a lot of friends that is false I do not have a lot of friends uh we have reevaluated friendships in the past year and realized a lot of people did not want us to succeed so uh we have very few friends i have like three friends i actually hang out with and like a few others that i would see maybe less but like i would still consider friends and that's pretty much it so that one was big false the other one that was another really big false was that i'm a cat person 100 no i do not like cats i think they're cute but like i'm 100 a dog person so that one's false and the other one i was so triggered <laughs> they said that i would like hamilton and i took AP US history the year that Hamilton came out or the year it was like super popular or whatever and I just cannot I cannot put those two things separately in my mind I hated that class and the fact that we watched like Hamilton in it and like watch scenes of it and like analyze things and whatever awful hate it like super triggered those are the only three that have been really off and the rest are really accurate and really nice and I really appreciate that so thank you to all of you who clearly probably watch my videos to know more about my personality type but like appreciate it it's really cool to see that people actually like know me or that I portray myself well enough like authentically for people to actually know me if that makes any sense anyway I'm gonna continue you know answering people and talking and whatnot and then I will probably be back and hopefully do something else tonight but we will see because I'm low-key kind of tired and not feeling it but we'll see <laughs> Good 
morning guys it is the next day i apologize for the fact that i've looked the same every single day and it looks like i'm repeating the same day over and over again but um i'm just really comfy in this but i got every package all packed up last night and i'm gonna go to the post office this morning take them there drop them off and i also need to run to the grocery store for some things that my mom asked for so we're gonna do that really quick i think and then we'll get started on whatever is next i thought i was gonna start with the sweaters next but i actually think i might start with the dresses next but i'm not sure we'll see when i come back from uh my errands but yeah i'm really dreading going right now because i feel like whenever i leave in the mornings or whenever i don't start to work right away in the mornings then i just can never get myself back into like the groove of working so i really don't want to go but i also know i need to go and it's probably best to go before i start anything than like in the midst of me starting things so i'm gonna get dressed and we will go to the post office so i got dressed i got my packages i have a ridiculous amount of international orders i don't know why but like this batch specifically has four international orders all to different countries which is really wild because usually i only have like one per clothing item but i guess all the international people really liked the red top so here we go very excited gonna take these and then hopefully be back soon enough to be able to start on the next thing but we will see so I just got back, it is almost 10 a.m. So we're not doing too awful on time, but I just really don't like getting late starts to the day. Anyway, I'm gonna answer some emails that I haven't answered yet and then we'll get started. ended up cutting out these sweaters instead because I forgot that last night I set up my serger with the white thread already because I was like oh I'm gonna love myself in the morning for doing that but then you know this morning I woke up and wanted to do the dresses and then I realized I had the white thread so do I love myself for it not really sure but I got them all cut out so they are ready to go I'm going to get started on these and hopefully be able to finish these today these are pretty simple to sew there's not much to it so I think I can probably get them done by tonight and then and tomorrow we'll probably start on the dresses. So I haven't started sewing yet because today is actually Wednesday, January 20th. So it's inauguration day and I decided I should actually probably sit down and watch some of it. So I've been watching it live for a little bit and I don't ever talk politics on here and I don't intend to because I'm not here to sway people either way. I think you have the right to your opinion and I think that both sides have valid points and both sides have bad points. So uh, yeah, that's kind of my stance on that. Regardless of that, today is obviously a very historical day as having a woman vice president like that's super freaking cool and i'm just very happy that that is happening during my lifetime like that is literally so cool and so historic and it's really cool to be living through that but yeah i've just been watching that for a little bit so i have not actually started i think i'm actually probably going to start after i eat lunch but i'm just going to sit here and watch this for a little longer and yeah you know keep up with you know history i guess <laughs> I have all of these like half put together. I have the sleeves sewn on and all the side seams and shoulder seams and all of that. So all I have to do is the turtlenecks and the cuffs of the sleeves and the like bottom cuff that goes down here as well. I guess that's not a cuff. That's like the waistband, whatever. But you know, I thought this would be a good moment to show you guys that uh, I make mistakes and sometimes I don't think things through correctly and I'm like mindlessly doing things and I do really, really dumb things and I just I did this and I am really sad but it's also just really funny I'll show you guys so I put the sleeve in right like it's really great and then um I accidentally put the other sleeve on the freaking neck hole instead of the other like sleeve hole so now it's just this obnoxiously large turtleneck <laughs> it looks like 
Anyway, it's an easy fix, so I don't really care, but like, in case you're ever wondering if I make mistakes, yes, yes I do, and I have to fix them, and I feel really dumb about it, but you know what, it happens, so there's that, I'm gonna fix that. And then continue on with the rest of these. about 10 30 now and i have three of them fully done the other three literally just need the bottom little what's it called like waistband type thing and they'll be done but i am so tired and i don't want to do them right now so i think i'm going to leave them for tomorrow morning because i'm just not having it tonight but i got a majority of it done and i know i'll get them done like in the first hour of tomorrow so i'm not too worried about it and then we'll start on the dresses tomorrow which is exciting but yeah i'm just really tired i took a bit of a break kind of like before dinner and during dinner a little longer than usual so i could have probably gotten it done but you know what i was watching all the inauguration stuff and i felt like that was an important thing to be watching so that's that i'm going to go to bed and i'll see you guys tomorrow in the morning Hi guys, it is the next day. It is a lot later in the day. It is like past noon at this point, but I just had quite a bit of a family emergency this morning. It's just been a very off day. So I think I'm gonna end the vlog here just because I personally just don't feel well enough to be vlogging and it just feels weird. So I'm just gonna leave it there. I finished the sweaters and I've gotten them packaged up and I'll try to get work done today if I can. But if not, I'm not pushing myself too much on that either. But yeah, I just wanted to update you guys. I don't wanna just stop the vlog right there but that is gonna be it for this one i hope you guys enjoyed it and i apologize for the abrupt ending to this but i might do a part two of production i'm not sure but i am restocking anyway on sunday so i'm sure i'll do another kind of production week next week thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and i will see you guys in the next one bye